Let's jump into a couple advantages of the Zettelkasten method. Improve the connectivity of our thoughts, meaning that as we create our atomic notes, we are increasing and making new insights possible. Being more productive, this is streamlining our workflow while decreasing the friction. Stop wasting our efforts because we're now preparing the knowledge for future projects as well as processing that information and not having to repeat those notes later on. Tackle more complex problems so we can concentrate on a small part, allowing us to step back and look at it with a panorama vision, as well now as uh, writing more effective and efficient because we can hold our thoughts based upon our atomic notes and allow us to streamline that writing into a cohesiveness. Let's jump into the traits of a Zettelkasten with the Zettelkasten method. First and foremost, it's hypertextual, meaning that it is a reference or a text refers to each other. And considering that a Zettel is a slip note or a paper slip, you have a unique address for each individual, quote unquote, thought. Second, it adheres to the principles of atomicity. And what that means is that each of these one slip notes contains one unit of knowledge and only one thought. They are your atoms meaning a single unit of data only. Additionally, it's personal, and this is important because personal is a tool for thought. It's a personal thinking tool, and there's only one Zettelkasten per individual, and each individual will have a unique Zettelkasten because every one of us thinks differently and will have our own interest. I want to first take a broad view of the numbering system and then we'll break it down individually into a finer detail. Pause this to take a look at the quote from Nicholas Luhmann himself. You'll find it interesting. If we were to broaden our view on a numbering system, we could probably break it into four steps. Keep in mind, the notes that you are taking with this numbering system, it's not the note card itself. Rather, it is the unique ID you place it. And that will make more sense later on. But essentially, we can break into four steps. We start with step one as the initial subject or thought. And then as we look at each of the individual atomicity of thought, we can break it out and sequence it out. Think of it, I think of it more of a plant growing. And as it grows bigger and bigger and more complex, so too your Zettelkasten method or your system will also grow.